Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part 48 of Let's Play Expedition Rome, where we are going to continue on with our story. And like I said, uh, you will expect all of these parts for the current current future just to be, um, like, for the next four or three parts to be around the 20 minute mark and, uh, of course, recorded, not streamed. But let's talk to Cleopatra. Romans, here. Tell me. Did you murder these people in the belief that they were protecting me? Or in the knowledge that they were my captors? We killed them because they stood between you and me. I hope that's not a problem. Quite the opposite. It is whatever the opposite of a problem is. A solution, your majesty. A solution, yes. Tell me, mysterious invader, are you a solution? That depends. Let us get you back to the Proconsular of Villa in one piece first. Ah, you are Lucullus's people. Lunia succeeded then. Something like that. Let's get you out of here first. Then we'll talk. Unspent skill points for whom? Danera. Well, let's get out of here now that we've got Cleopatra. I can definitely say I don't intend to do what Caesar did, or Kaiser did, or Caesar, whatever you want to call him, and uh, bed Cleopatra. Definitely doesn't seem like the wise thing to do. New stratagem. Well, we're going to wait until all of the stratagems I want. Like, a lot of stratagems are unlocked. Yeah, the villa looks nice when it's not being uh, full of murderers. Dominus and Lucullus was always kind to me. Cleopatra Philopator, the goddess who loves her father and the rightful pharaoh of Egypt. Lengthy introductions are unnecessary. At this point, I trust we are both acquainted with each other. Legate, you have saved me. I will not let such a deed go unrewarded. I bestow upon you this armor, called Queen's Warden. Wear it with pride. I didn't save you from your brother's men for hope of payment in gifts or otherwise. Indeed. Ask your questions, then. Do you really believe you're a goddess? It doesn't matter what I believe. As long as the people need their goddess. What if the people are wrong? The people are always wrong. That's why they need their goddess. Goddess who loves her father. It's a traditional title. So you don't love your father? I didn't say that. How did you know the proconsul's Proconsul life was in danger? You are addressing a goddess. Tomes could be filled with the things that I know, and you don't. Care to bless me of your divine knowledge? Suffice to say, I have eyes and ears all throughout Egypt. Things may happen without my approval, but never without my knowledge. Why were you imprisoned? Imprisoned is such an ugly word. Let us say, confined. Fair enough. Why were you confined? Some people just can't perceive beauty. That's why he confined me. You share a lot with Ptolemy. Roman. On the contrary, you'll find I'm uh, I'm nothing like him. Hopefully. That would have been such a waste. Did you know the proconsul personally? We had maintained a correspondence for quite some time now. Unfortunately, he never had the pleasure of enjoying my company in person. He was a good man. He did not deserve to die in such a ghastly fashion. No one does, but few of us get what we deserve in life. On the contrary, 
I think, in the end, we all get what we deserve. I just want to know the identities of the murderers. Time to get to the point. No more foreplay. If you please. My husband, Ptolemy Theos Philopater, is collaborating with a Roman bureaucrat called Lurko. I believe you are familiar with him. To my interminable regret, I am. Whatever this collaboration is about, it must be illegal by Roman law. I believe the proconsul got wind of it and attempted to enlist my help in hopes of acquiring evidence. Tragically, Vitellius Lorco's spies got a hold of the missive he sent. Needless to say, neither Lorco nor my husband was happy about this development. That's why L that is why Lorco had him killed. I knew it. That is possible, but unlikely. After all, killing a Roman proconsul is equal to declaring war on Rome. Lurco profited from the current arrangement. There is no reason for him to start a war. He hated the proconsul. Be that as it may, I don't think he is stupid enough to start a war for petty, personal reasons. Lurco is a smart man with a plan. Ptolemy is a stupid man with wealth and power. Well, that complicates matters. We can't just march into Egypt and arrest the pharaoh. I offer a simple proposal instead. I become the sole pharaoh and give my husband to you on a platter, with Vitellius Lorco as garnishing. All I need is your support. With your help, we can reconquer Egypt together and bring peace to my people. We don't have enough manpower to undertake such a massive campaign. No one can conquer Egypt and Africa per consularis with only one legion. We need at least twice as many Ligonari as we are, and a reliable source to replenish our ranks. May I humbly present a possible solution? You may. You could simply recruit soldiers from Nazomenes itself. My people were fond of the proconsul. And although they are severely fractured into countless independent tribes, they may want to unite under one strong banner. A foreign legion. It's not unprecedented. That's a good idea. Is it, though? We can collaborate with barbarians, but can we trust them? We will have to talk to the elders first. Let us meet at the court of heaven as soon as it is convenient for you. Hmm. God damn it. Just, this Cinero is just leveling up like a madman. Hmm. And that guy, we can't. Oh, no, please don't tell me that's gonna fucking stay there. I can't do anything. It's not really my style, but it's a lot better than what I was wearing in every sense of the way. Get it out. I can see you have questions. Not really. Actually, Get not. It out. I can see you have questions. I'm a bit confused about your family relationship. There is nothing confusing about my family. Everyone's called Ptolemy. Traditionally, boys are named Ptolemy and girls Cleopatra. It is our actions that define us, not our names. Why would the people support you instead of your brother? He goes against the people's will. My family is deeply entrenched in their traditions. They are in communion with gods, but not the people. My brother actually wants to replace the old gods. <laughs> that is as foolish as trying to replace the people. I will give them what they want and what they need. Do you think we'll win? Of course we will win. Because it is my will. Okay, so you are extremely stuck up. I understand. What else does this armor do? The first tag in each car that would bring you to zero health brings you to. Oh, that's actually really good. Okay, there's got to be someone else who I can. Okay, you. I knew there was definitely someone out. Something I was missing. There we go. Alright, let us get out of here.
The hunt, you've been living off rations for a while and today your stomach has decided to mount to protest. All afternoon your guts have been growling ferociously as you ride ahead of your small column. Ulia Kalida has been following closely behind you and occasionally your stomach will grumble so loud that you can listen to giggle from her. As the day wears on, you spot a cluster of treetops in the distance. After assuming, assuring yourself it's not just a mirage, you set to rear out towards what you're hoping is an oasis. Indeed, you do find yourself riding into a large oasis around a wide, shallow lake. What you've picked a spot to camp along the shore, and everyone has dismounted. Kalidia. Sorry, guys. Grabs a bow. I'll see if there's any wildlife around here to hunt. You really sound like you could use a fresh meal tonight. I'll come with you. You hunted a little with your father when you were a child, but you never took well to the bow. You have Kaladia here to do the actual shooting, but you can help out with the tracking at least. Together you walk through the sh along the sh uh, sunny banks of the oasis, your eyes scanning the spare, a sparse bush for movement. The songs of exotic birds keep you company. You notice how much you've missed the smell of a healthy plant lately. Do you like hunting, or is it more of a practicality to you? I enjoy it, but I don't ever do it just for leisure. I like being able to hunt my own food and cook for myself. I guess I get bored easily if I don't have some kind of challenge in front of me. I'm sure you know what I mean. You seem to seek out challenges as well. I enjoy pushing myself. I've learned more over these past few years than most people learn in a lifetime. I guess I tend to stay within my comfort zone most of the time. I've figured out what kind of thing I like to do, and I won't let anything get in the way of me doing that. You're a vintner, a commander, a diplomat, a soldier, a spy. I wonder if there's anything you can't do. I'm helpless when it comes to romance. I hadn't noticed. Kelly just stops and kneels at the side of the path that runs along the bank. Small footprints lead away from the water along a creek that disappears between the rocks. She signals for you to be as quiet as she begins to follow the animal tracks, careful where she plants her feet. You track your prey silently for some time, ducking under branches and leaping across the creek at several points as encroaching rocks force you to the other side. You frantically reach a secluded, finally reach a secluded spot where you s there a small waterfall leaves a crack in the rock face and falls five or so paces into a green pond. What the fuck is this? Sorry guys, I'm just tired for some reason it seems. You have to balance across the conspicuously well-placed wooden beam to get to there where with dry sandals. And indeed, part of the side of this little nook is clearly a man made staircase of sandstone leading up to the top of the waterfall. Two adult gazelles are standing on the other side of the pond, drinking from the cool water. Let Kaladia take the shot. You hug at the wall and give Kaladia space to aim and loose. You know she barely had time, barely had to aim at this distance, but she still takes the time to ensure her arrow finds the creature's heart. Its mate sets off with a startled jump and escapes through an opening in the rocks on the other side, while the shot animal thrashes for a few seconds as its blood spills into up the pool. Kalido wades along the edge of the pool, where it fell. Looks like a clean kill. She seems satisfied. This should stop your stomach grumbling, wouldn't you say? Want me to carry it? If you want. I can take over if you get tired. We make a good team. It was nice to have company for once, but I think I prefer to go hunting alone. It's nothing against you. I just like the solitude. I missed you all those years since Greece, you know. I missed you guys too, and you in particular. It's just difficult for me in Rome. The more reasons I have to stay in the city, the more difficult it gets. You give me a chance. You know, I'd never thought you'd live your life of any other way than how you'd like it. I wouldn't want you to feel tied down. She doesn't reply for her. She seems to think on it for a long while. I know you mean well. Are you sure you know what you're getting yourself into? You've been hurt in the past. You don't need to tell me anything if you don't want to. I just want to be here for you. I appreciate that. It's difficult for me to believe that anyone would genuinely care. Or that anyone could really do something to help. You return to your camp, but the rest of your Praetorians have finished setting up their tents and a bonfire crackles merrily. Everyone is happy to see you return with fresh meat, and the gazelle makes a delicious meal which raises everyone's spirits. You and your companions sit around the fire a little longer than normal after your meal. Talking and laughing, Claudia seems less guarded than you've ever seen her since the death of Lucullus. She laughs at all your jokes, and the little jab she makes at Kaizo and Cinero's expense are kinder than normal. The sun sets behind the mountains, and the night grows cold as a heavy mist raises from the lake. Sentries are posted and you go to your own tents, but prepare for sleep. 
You barely encounter entered your tent when the flap is pulled aside gingerly and Calidia peeks in. She looks has a look in her eyes of someone standing at the edge of a cliff, tall cliff, preparing to make the jump into a deep pool below. We'll wait for her to make the jump. She stands on that cliff for a long moment while she gathers her courage. You give her an encouraging smile and she finally crawls in, closing her the flaps behind her. You wrap your arms around her and she melts into your embrace as your lips meet. Well, this isn't the way I went with this. You take it slow at first, and why is Daenerys hugely approving this? But she seems to have made up her mind about this, and Julia and Ulia Kalida doesn't do anything by half measures. You fought your by beside each other, and Joy understood each other's movements. And once you find rhythm, she opens up to you completely, and several years of pent-up desires unleashed in a head to, Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Heady rush of passion, leaving not a shred of doubt that she really does want you. Well, that's not what I thought that was going. That's also not what I intended to do. Uh, apparently, being friends in this isn't as simple as I expected. I was legitimately trying to just be friendly, but apparently being friendly ain't what it, yeah, it used to be. An ancient traveler's shrine. While traveling, you come across an ancient shrine to some unidentifiable native deity. At the base of a shrine, it looks like offerings. A shrine to a god of travel, no doubt. We should leave an offering, just in case. We need not answer to any barbarian gods. Do you know what this is, Legate? Free money. Must leave an offering of five gold rations. Yeah, if you people take out a few rations out of their sacks. The offering isn't likely to last long in the African heat, but perhaps it will please the god until it perishes. Gimme, gimme treasure. Okay. I'm gonna have to make this part short again, because I don't want to, you know, head into a cutscene area. Uh, and, you know, get some cutscenes when we could be uh, doing other stuff. And by that, I mean, you know, ending the part and then starting a new one. But unfortunately, guys, like I said, I'm going to end this part here. If you guys enjoyed, if you guys did enjoy, please do follow me on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, join the Discord. All the links are down below. Give a like, give a comment, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one.